everybody. I'm out with Abby, the pity. You're seeing mistakes right off the bat. This is the first time I've worked with her on heel. I've worked with her inside. This is the first time I've actually taken her outside and said I'm going to go walk her and work on her heel. She's doing a pretty good job. I mean, she is known to be a powerhouse, very pushy, uses her body to get where she wants to go. She is so used to saying, oh, I want to go check out that thing over there. I am going to pull as hard as I can to get there. And she usually wins. So we are, look, that paper plate or that metal plate like flapping in the wind over there, our neighbor uses it to keep deer away. That <laughs> distracted her and it caused her to make a mistake. So that's what we're out here practicing. Okay, notice I have the long line on but I'm only holding on to the end of it. So this mimics the feeling of off leash. So it allows me to work on her e-collar heel. So notice we're not always dragging her around or moving her back to position with a leash, but it also gives me that layer of safety knowing I have control if she gets spooked by something and goes towards it, I've got the leash as my backup. So you saw um, she spooked twice for whatever reason on today's walk and both times went behind my legs. Anytime she is moving behind, so lagging too far behind, moving too far to the left, or going behind my legs, that's when I'm gonna use my tone button, which is that T on the side of the remote, right here. Beep, 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 and it gets her back into position. Anytime she's being pushy, meaning pushing forward, that's when I'm gonna use my stem. But with her, the best move that I have found is the heel tap. There's two moves that I like. So if you notice her starting to push forward, now I'm tapping my tongue. Beep, 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 can you hear it? And there she is again. So it's the, getting those repetitions in of her leaving heel position, making the mistake, hearing the tone, moving herself back into position, and me stopping the tone. That's what we're aiming for. Now, of course, if she stops listening to the tone, we can go to the stem. Okay, back to my moves if she um, starts pushing. So my favorite one is called the heel tap. So as I'm walking, I'm gonna lift up my left ankle, gently tap it in the center of her chest. At the same time, I click my e-collar. So it's gonna look like this, okay? Boop. And that creates a boundary with the e-collar tap and the physical right here, right? That she's going to respect. So it'll keep her from constantly pushing too far ahead. The other one I like to do is my abrupt pace change, which means I'm gonna start walking really fast. Boop, boop, boop. Now I can click my tone, she keeps up with me. And then I'm going to abruptly slow down. If she does not slow down with me, I press and hold my e collar. Beautiful, heel, she's with me. And that's how you really know that they're with you because they're paying attention to every move. I'm very impressed with how she's walking with me. It's not hot out, it's a cool 50 degrees. She's just trying really hard. Okay, now that we're in the shade, sit. Good girl, we stop, we sit, stay. We've been working on all these stay commands and sit and down, down. She doesn't want to down, so I'm gonna click. Try low number first. Beautiful, good girl. No, now I'm clicking again, stay. See, she's going to make mistakes. Just know this when she comes home. She will make mistakes like that because they've worked for her in the past. What is important is her owner's response to those mistakes. Do they get rewarded? Oh, it's okay. I don't really care if you down or not. Or do they get corrected until she does what you ask? If they get corrected consistently and she does what you ask, she'll stop making them. Good girl. So at first she didn't want to down. Then she downed, but she said, you know what? I'm going to army crawl to you. I don't want that either because that is not reliable. And if you have a dog who doesn't have reliable commands, you can't do anything with them other than hang out with them in your living room. Abby, no corrections, because I don't want her hearing her name and coming towards me. Abby, good. Break, yay! 